If you can write hello world, hello, hello, you hello can change the world. world. So this video, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this because it's basically going to be me. I thought someone was knocking. But Skylar, I can hear you walking, dog. Yes, yes, doggy. Yes. <laughs> this is just another video in the series of the finishing Cracking the Coding interview book in one month. But basically in this video you'll see how I'm just working throughout the day and hopefully this can motivate you guys to really utilize your weekends. And I hope you like this video. Good morning, hi, how's it going? Uh so I'm a morning person if you haven't if you can't tell. But yeah, so I, I just woke up. It's like about 7 a.m. So I'm gonna brush my teeth. Mm. So in an earlier video, when I said tips for getting through cracking the coding interview book, I said to really utilize your weekend. Another way to make sure that you are keeping on track with these questions is on the weekend, get ahead. So there you're just gonna see a Saturday in my life. You're gonna see how many problems I get through and it's gonna be a great day. Start these problems, baby. So yeah, so I am currently behind on the challenge. But part of me, I'm kind of like in the glasses half full type of mentality. Like so far, I think I've done 24 problems. And I'm really proud of that just because if I wasn't on this challenge, I would not have done 24 problems. So it's been about maybe an hour and a half since I started studying. I think I'm going to have to pause on doing cracking the coding binary tree problems just because these problems are hard for me there are so many different types of trees that sometimes i'm reading these problems and i'm like which tree are you talking about like there's regular trees there's complete trees there's full trees there's binary trees there's binary search trees directed trees undirected trees there's a height of a tree depth of a tree balanced trees i'm getting lost in this sauce so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into hacker rank well, hacker rank has the Hacker Rank Interview Preparation Kit, which was a website I used to use in college all the time for practicing coding interviews. And I'm gonna start with the easy tree questions. Trees. Cause I need to work my way up. I only have one easy question for trees. Ooh, yes, binary search trees. Okay, I'm gonna try this one out too, y'all. But as you can see, I'm just gonna do easier problems. It can be easier problems on lead code, Hacker Rank, Whatever website you want to use, but I need to start building up my tree knowledge before I attempt to do tree problems. For the other chapters, I was pretty fine, like arrays, strings, queues, stacks, linked lists. I was pretty fine with them, but trees are kind of like linked lists when they're directed, like two linked lists. Why do I feel like this is like a hit what type of thing? What breath first search is designed to do is find the shortest path between two nodes. Yeah. People think that we're dumb. We can see, like, if I want to get from you or me or whoever this person is. Y'all, this girl right here, her home girl, she is amazing, y'all. I was telling you earlier how I had to like review some concepts because all this tree business was getting out of hand. She broke it down. And she's even funny, y'all. So left, so left, all the small numbers in the tree to the left. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, but I am so happy. So she talks about trees. I was learning about death for search from her. She has so many different algorithms that she goes over. You saw bubble sort, all these different algorithms. She goes over some data structures. So if you need help with your Come on, let's go to the beginning. You're linked to list. You need help with your stacks, your cues, whatever. I've read like three articles by her and I am in love. She is amazing. I am understanding this stuff. The light bulb is going off. Trees. Homegirl got Trees videos too. Yes. Yes, queen. Yes. Out, trees are a subset of. Once upon a time, not long ago, I struggled with trees. Yes, I did. 
Never liked those trees, no I didn't. But because I'm out of here, now I do. And I'm so oh, freaking happy. Queen. Queen, queen, queen. Thank you for your blog post. I just had to follow her on Instagram. That's how happy I was. Turned out her Instagram private. But then I went on to her Twitter. Yes, I'm a stalker. She has videos. So it's like a blog post. It's videos. Y'all, I learned the best through videos. But what's so good about her blog posts, because I don't like reading blog posts sometimes. Well, okay, so I prefer videos over blog posts. But her blog posts were so good. It's like... Man, I can't even imagine your videos now, just because they were so good. Why, hello, sis. Hi. What are you doing with a camera? I am vlogging my day today as I try to do problems from cracking the coding interview book. Why you sound like that? Why well, sound like what? <laughs> like a robot. <laughs> Cause I just understood something and I'm happy. If you don't get your uh... Ooh. Thank you. This is weird. You're the best. <laughs> you're like you're acting like mother. Ulta has their twenty percent off coupon. Your total purchase. Hell yeah. I thought about buying the Max Studio Fix Plus, but I was like Oh, I needed that. Like it's like four o'clock in the day, but I'm ready to get some coffee and get some work in. You know, so just don't give up on yourself. Keep going, keep grinding. I had this huge aha moment, as you guys saw earlier, where I started to understand the difference between all the different trees and traversals and stuff like that. And I'm just feeling really good about this. You know, I got the question the other day of why do interviewers or why do companies test data structures and algorithms you know at a certain point it just seems like it's this huge memorization game but when you think about it we have so much data in the world and it's like how is this data going to be stored in our computers you know what are the steps we're going to use to <laughs> what are the steps we're going to use to retrieve this data how can we do it really fast so that the customer doesn't have to wait a long time in order to get certain information it's through these data structures, how we organize our data, and through the algorithms, which is just a series of steps in order to get a solution to a problem. It's like a combination of this that we can create, and that we can find, and that we can just do great things with code. I read something online, and it said that the difference in a data structure can save a company millions of dollars. So I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm ready to grind so hard. Hurry and up! I hope. All right. Bye. Hi. Can I please get um? Okay, y'all. So it's like 8:15 p.m. and I'm about to call it a day. I think I will. I'll just review all my notes that I took today, maybe for another 30 minutes. And after that, I think I'm just going to edit all the videos I took today. But yeah, I am super proud of myself, you know. Sometimes you set a goal in the beginning of the day that you want to do this many problems. Like yesterday was Saturday and I was able to do 8 problems. But it's good to know when you might need to change your game plan. And I'm glad I did just because I was a little shaky on my recursion. Just because I don't use recursion too much in my like everyday life, in my day to day job. Honestly, if I have to like solve a problem, I usually like, use a for loop, like I iterate. So I'm glad that I spent time like doing other recursive problems like I did like the Fibonacci, the classic Fibonacci question and the Tribonacci. It's not called Tribonacci, it's called Yeah, Tribonacci. So I'm glad that I like took time to really understand recursion just because of the way of a tree structure is structured just because it's like subtrees within a bigger tree and recursive recursion is all about like having a bigger problem and bringing it down into smaller problems it just makes sense to use a whole recursion but I'm glad I took the time to kind of like understand what I was doing before going in too deep into these tree questions so yeah still proud of my progress 
And I was thinking about thinking of this whole situation as the glass is half full. Like, okay, maybe I've only done like a certain amount of problems, like 20 something from cracking the coding interview book. But I think of the problems I've done in total, now that is like 30 something. So I like to be positive about things. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how this challenge is going for you. I would love to know. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. And I will see you in the next update. And if you're not enjoying this series, it's all good. Honestly, this series is going to be over in a couple of weeks. And we're going to move on to the next challenge of building it out together. Okay, so thank you so much. And...